Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster specialty. So Gina, tell me what's going on. What happened to your shoulder? I'm not sure exactly what happened. Okay. I just started to get a lot of pain, mm -hmm. um, especially when I work out. Okay, so how long has it been going on? About two years. About two years. So when you work out, you start to feel pain. Where yes. do you feel the pain? My shoulder. In my okay. shoulder. So can you give me in the last two years uh, what happened? Uh, what kind of treatment you had? Uh, um, I've had one quarter, well, two cortisone shots. Two cortisone shots. One recently shots. within the last three weeks. Okay. Um, I've had four months of physical therapy. Four months, okay, physical therapy, okay. And before that, um, mm -hmm. another cortisone shot. Okay. Um, my ortho doctor would like to do surgery. Uh, why do you want to do surgery? He feels that that's the only way to remove the inflammation mm -hmm. and the swelling pain. So you had MRI? Yes, I had MRI okay. and it showed that my bones are grinding on my tendons. Okay. And there's a lot of inflammation in there and my bursitis is also very... So important. he diagnosed you with bursitis, bursitis what else? and tendonitis. Tendonitis. And maybe a little bit of um, arthritis. Okay. He's not exactly sure about that. But uh, there is no tear in the shoulder? There is no tear in the shoulder. Okay. So and you want to do surgery just to clean it up? Okay, clean it up. Okay, so you had a PT, you had a cortisone, did you have any other treatment? No. So what is difficult for you to do? My workouts or even day-to-day okay. -day work. Like I'm a teacher, so it's okay. hard to write on the board mm -hmm. at times. Sometimes it's hard for me to grade papers. Mm -hmm. um, even sometimes drive. Driving, like doing Driving, this. yeah. You're right-handed? I'm right-handed. So okay. no, I've noticed mm -hmm. that I do feel a little pain when I do lift my right arm, so I normally just drive with my left hand. Oh, okay, all right. So driving overhead activity, mm -hmm. you start to feel right. it. Okay, so if we're gonna, uh, let me see actually your range of motion initially, mm -hmm. and let me know, like your pain level, how much from zero to 10? Okay, so right now I would say it's about a three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Is that considered constant pain? or That is constant pain. That so is three, four, your baseline, base, and where right. do you feel it? In the front mm -hmm. part of my shoulder. And how would you describe that pain? Is it dull, sharp, aching? Is it dull, aching type? Dull, aching, constant, mm -hmm. dull, aching. Right. Okay, when you aggravate your symptoms, how much it goes up to? Oh, it can go up to 10, just depending on what I'm doing. Okay, so what make it go up? Um, when I weight lift. When you lift weight, mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, okay, let me see your range of motion and so, tell me from 0 to 10 if the 3, 4 increase and okay. how much increase. So, so, let's do the front. If I do the front. I'm good to about here. Mm -hmm. um, I do the side. Right here, I was popping and there's pain. <clears throat> How right much here. from zero to ten? It's, it goes up to about a four. So, want to see this? Hold on here. So, that's about 90 degrees here. Yeah. Okay, so. Just holding it. Just, just hold holding it. it okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. The pain increases. How much? It, you know, it goes it, from like a four to a six. It just increases. Four to six. Yeah. Okay. Can you do this? can do this fine. Mm -hmm. So the abduction right. where, where you had the um, issue and bring it back. When I bring it back, <clears throat> um, not very much pain. It's about mm -hmm. about the three, four where where initially was. Okay. Yeah. So basically this is currently right. that you yes. get to sex with mm -hmm. abduction. Or if I'm doing like if I have something overhead yeah. and it's heavy. Okay. That's with a whole lot of pain. Okay, so I'm gonna try two pounds and a half. Okay. Okay, and we'll see because now we had six with abduction. Right. I'm gonna see this. <clears throat> two and a half pounds. And I want you to lift it up and tell me how that feel. Zero to ten. And overhead like this. This is about where it was. Right here. Right here. Uh, I can't. How I much? Oh, it shot up to about seven, eight. Seven, <laughs> seven, eight. The air higher, yeah. Okay. I don't want to aggravate it. I'm just okay. using that for testing. Right. So we'll do the treatment okay. and then we'll test okay. it again. Okay. So your pain is right, right in there. Right there, yeah. Oh, sorry. Is that okay. painful? A little bit. Yeah. You don't have to scream. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Relax. Oh, here you go. Now you're relaxed. 
So it's right in here. Mm -hmm. And here. That's, That's where you feel yeah. pain. That so feel where pain. did he say you have the tendonitis? Do you remember he the just, name of the muscle? Super spinning? No, he just touched virus. right here. Mm -hmm. He touched it there and then he touched up top. So you like kind of like uh, subscapularis and supraspinatus. Okay, that's might mm -hmm. be because we don't have the MRI. Right. Okay, so I will give you the third injection. Oh, Not thanks. really. Thanks. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> no. And just uh, gonna work on your release the tightness there. You have a lot of scar tissue here. But it might be like you injured with weightlifting mm -hmm. in the gym. Make sure it's not painful. It's not painful, it's just a constant. It's not super painful, it's just sore. While I'm working on it, if mm -hmm. it's more than three and four, let me know. Okay. Because you have that constant three right. and four. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you feel pressure, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if you feel pain, pain, yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, is it too much? Uh, out. Okay. Is that painful when I touch it there? It's sensitive. Okay, it's let me do something else. Okay. Because you're really sensitive mm -hmm. here. So this has been going on for two years, mm -hmm. yeah? I'm good there. Okay. So what did they do in physical therapy? Just a bunch of different exercises, like up and down. For ladder. inflammation and tendonitis exercises? Just um, yeah. uh -huh. trying to work on a range of motion. Yeah. And and then he would try to massage me out. Yeah, to break the well, uh, with his hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's hard to lay, break the scar tissue with the hand. And you had it for four months. Yeah. You feel this bump here? Mm-hmm. That's a scar tissue here. So you have a lot of scar tissue. Okay, because you have a little bit of inflammation, make sure what I'm doing is not painful because okay. I don't want to cause more inflammation. I just want to release the tightness only. Mm -hmm. Do you have any history of head trauma, accidents, sports injury, like fall or anything? Um, no. I mean, once I was in a car accident and fractured my T1 vertebra, but that, that's it. T1. Mm -hmm. And um, is it like, did you have any neurological symptoms? No. Mm -hmm. So it was hairline fracture? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you don't have numbness or tingling nope. on. Mm -hmm. So when you hit, did you hit your head forward? It was a snap. Just okay. Snap. Just like a when that happened? Snap um, about three years ago. Okay. So you had symptoms in the neck only, you didn't yeah, have any mm, issues. Nothing in, mm, Your shoulder did mm, not mm, uh, jerk or nope. stuck uh, with the head, mm -mm. like in a uh, car seat. Mm -hmm. okay. What else? That's just so you had your head forward? It snapped forward and back really fast. And, and it caused... Fra fractured. Fractured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. T1, you said? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, T1 is just spout the, right, right here. Mm -hmm. The T1. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't even realize... and. The, the Did you have symptoms or you were the okay? fire department that was there? They said, mm -hmm. "Do you feel any pain?" I said, "You know," mm -hmm. and I was walking around. I was fine, and I said, "Afterwards, sometimes I will not feel." I just the sat there and I said, "You know what? My mm -hmm. neck started to hurt," and they strapped okay. me immediately. Okay. And um, yeah, the X-ray didn't show up, but the MRI did. Okay, so it was minor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How's your neck? Really How's your neck now? Fine. Your neck it's fine. now. Okay. Make sure what I'm doing here is not painful. Okay. Too much, or okay. it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Any other accidents or no. trauma? No. Is it too much what I'm doing? No. So, like most of the time, the two points of pain yeah. here and here. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, you do a lot of typing or writing? Writing and typing. Yeah. Yeah, the problem when you are right handed and you actually injure your right uh, shoulder. Is it too much? That's too much, but. Uh -huh. Too much, but. 
Well, it's sensitive. Yes, yeah, it's a very sensitive okay. there. Right. You're the only doctor that has gone down that far. I actually noticed that there was... Down here? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Even my therapist didn't even touch down there. Touch there? Because mm -mm. it's a prohibited area. Really? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, well... Um, the whole body is connected. It's one right. piece. We cannot just focus on this. focus on this because a lot of muscle attach here to here. Right. So if you have so think about this way, okay? Uh, our muscle should act like a rubber band when it contract and relax. It does this. Mm -hmm. So when we have a scar tissue from accident or trauma or poor posture, it's similar to like having a knot in a rubber band. So when I'm, the muscle contract does not stretch much. Mm -hmm. So it actually does not make sense when you come with pain here, just focusing here, and ignore the rest of the muscle. If I ignore the rest of the muscle and your scar tissue here, it does not matter how many years you've been working here. You already right. had four months that were right. in here. That's where not releasing the area that has tightness. Right. So I have to release the whole, oh. the whole thing uh, to actually be able to, you know, affect this muscle that's mm -hmm. pulling, you know. Right. So that's why actually we're going to work on the neck too because mm -hmm. there's a lot of muscle okay. attached this way. that way as well. Yeah. Think about the body is like a chain. It's like a chain. Yeah. The a chain. Right. So if you have, let's say you have a tension in one end of the chain. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is three options for the problem of the pain. Okay. First option is the location of the tension. All right. Okay. Second option, your weakest link in the chain that compensating for the tension. Okay. okay. Third option is all of the above. <laughs> both of them. All, both of them together. Yeah. So how do we know that? We have to evaluate it and think about the body as, as one piece in a state of like try to say, oh, this is a shoulder patient. I'm like, it's never it's shoulder true. only. <laughs> you know, it's it's never shoulder only. Because we cannot take this out and leave the whole body by itself. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel a lot of tightness here. Because you said you have all, you do a lot. Oh, feel that? Feel this not? Yeah. That's a scar tissue. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> She's smiling, but she, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a smiling face. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's actually put the pillow here. Okay. So I hope this is coming. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to work on this. Is that painful? It's a little painful. Yeah, you're not, uh, you just have a little bit of inflammation, okay. So, I'm going to, is that painful? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's a little painful as well. Mm. So, what happened here? Oh. You sure? Sure. You have thicker scar tissue here than here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that the other day we were doing something and I said, why does this side hurt? But I was yeah, like, okay, hold it's on probably on, my shoulder. Hold on on anything right. here. We're going to do the exercises here. Okay. I will test it before going to the gym. Mm -hmm. The exercise you want to do in the gym. Okay. If you see, if you're ready to do it, if you do it here without pain, mm -hmm. you can do it in the okay. gym. If you still feel pain, that's more than really, We need to figure out what's going on right. and work on it here, you know. But I feel more scar tissue here than here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's actually work on break it down. Okay, make sure that's not painful. Okay, you you hear that grinding? Mm -hmm. That's a scar tissue. Mm. And here, and I don't know. One second, I need mm -hmm. a metal one. Make sure this is getting. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to show. Oh, okay. Okay, so actually, you see, you see the the jumping yeah, of yeah, the yeah, tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the aster tool. Mm -hmm. So it's in here. It's actually mm -hmm. here. You right. see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a scar tissue. Here, a lot of grinding mm -hmm. here. You mm -hmm. feel that? Yeah. It should feel like, like here. It's a little bit grinding here, mm -hmm. but here, oh, that's a scar tissue too. All right, I try to give you mm -hmm. a good example, okay? Just take my word. I would take your head. Smooth. It's supposed to be okay. smooth. It's, it should feel smooth, like a little bit. Uh, yeah. Um, let me see the other one. Yeah, I want to give you a good example. Okay, this is a good example. Feel how nice and smooth it is? Right. Okay, compare it to With the grinding, all grinding here. here. So that's a lot of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. So I uh, want to make sure you really... 
feel that bumpy here? Yeah. Okay. So there's one scar tissue here, but here there's a lot. What? Back yeah. to back. Right. You see? It's like grinding. It's the whole going, arm. The whole arm. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of scar tissue here. Here. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Yeah. So you hear you the sound yeah. and you can see the redness right. where you have the scar tissue. So, and sorry. And here. So all this scar tissue, because the muscle connected, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to restrict your range of motion. It's a little bit here. So this, they did not even touch any of mm -mm. these. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure this is not painful. Actually, you have, relax. Mm -hmm. Are Go. you relaxing? I'm okay. trying to. <laughs> all right. Okay, because I see you're yeah. shrugging your shoulder. So, you feel that here? Yes, mm -hmm. that's okay. my pain area. Sorry, is that painful while I'm doing it? It's no, painful. it's not painful, no. Okay, so you get a scar tissue all over this area, a little bit here, you feel that? Yep. Okay. Get a lot of scar tissue here. Okay. So I'm gonna get in here in that spot. Okay. Make sure you don't feel pain, okay? okay? Uh, because I don't wanna close. Relax. Go ahead. There you go. Is that painful? Not. Is no. that increasing? It's not pain? increasing any pain. Okay. But you heal. It's just I'm scared. That pain, right? <laughs> yeah, you guard it. You guard it. Mm -hmm. That's it's very normal. You know. Is that painful here? You feel that grind. I feel it. All yeah. that. Is that too much? Mm -mm. Here? Is that too much? Mm. You feel that? Yep. Yeah, I yeah. feel <laughs> Did they work on this area? That's where he would try to massage. With his hands? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Too much? Mm-mm. a lot of scar tissue here. Like, yeah. that's very thick for this small area. Right. You know? Right. So that's going to cause a lot of issue here. So they want to do the surgery to really mm -hmm. clean it up? Yeah. So, so when you have cut, what's going to happen? That's an issue. That's a problem. Your body gonna build up new scar tissue. Right, it's gonna yeah. Do you guarantee the cut from the surgery gonna be less scar tissue than the old scar tissue? I I think it's gonna make more because even though he says he's gonna clean it out, even though when you remove something and you're yeah. cutting, it's gonna a yeah. scar is gonna grow over that cut. To heal. Right. Because if, if your body does not build the scar tissue, it's open wound. Right. You need the scar tissue to heal. Yeah. But do you, like, who can guarantee the new scar tissue actually is going to be less than right. the and old scar one. tissue? Right. Yeah, that's a problem. Is that too much? Mm -mm. You feel that? I feel it. Yeah. You feel all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here. Oh, you have plenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so make sure that's not too much, okay? Do you have water with you? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll give you some water. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's actually uh, clean this up. Okay. And I want you, the motion that you had trouble with, mm -hmm. okay, uh, is the abduction. But yeah. I want you to tell me your constant pain because you were saying your pain was like um, a three or four. Yeah. Okay, how much is now? Um, Let's drink some water and tell me the constant pain. Did that change? It has changed. It doesn't. Let's drink some water. Yeah. You can see actually the scar tissue where you have the redness all over this area. Mm. Zero to ten, how much is now? Doesn't. Doesn't. I don't feel. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm just like a. Let's do the abduction, see how far you can go. Oh, you're going further yeah. a little bit. Yeah, just here. Where do you feel it? Okay, how much? So you went a little bit further. Yeah. Um, how much? It's right here about three, two to three. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not it bad. It was 90 degrees right. now. So right, you did this like... right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because it's flex, but mm -hmm. we're looking at like your three Make sure you're, four. You're, 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 you're some up. Okay. Yeah. Three and four in the yeah. back? Yeah, okay. right here. Um, and, okay, so let's actually mm -hmm. do this big rock here. Yeah. That's uh, very tight. Okay, is that painful here? It's just sore. Like, 
Is that increasing the soreness or it's okay? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Like right now, I don't feel it until you I'm apply touching. pressure. What about now? No. No? Okay. Make sure it's not too much. Yeah, you got a lot of scar tissue here. Okay. This is okay. Yeah, there's a lot of scar tissue here. It's okay to take your necklace off. Oh, yeah. yeah. I do wanna okay, uh, get some good. lotion uh, in it to the side here. Okay. Did anyone work on this area? No. This is another protected area, okay? Mm -hmm. When you work on the shoulder. <laughs> Any back issue? Oh, you had the neck issue. Yeah. So the fracture was on the side? Yes, on the left side. Okay. okay. That was three years ago. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of uh, scar mm -hmm. tissue in this area. You, visually, you can see the scar tissue sticking out. It's like a thick. You feel that? Yes. So your scar tissue here in this area, it's I think the size of a small uh, tennis table ball. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. it's a little bit smaller than that, but okay. it's it's kind of a, on the bigger side. Uh, right. N bigger size of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. Any neck issue? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Yes. Too much? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. Sorry, I got it's in it's your okay, hair. It's okay, it's fine. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me close this. I will have you actually drink some water. Okay. More water. More water. Okay, and turn it around, and I want you to do the abduction again. And tell me how that feels. A little better. Well, yes. where do you feel it now? Slight how much cool. from zero to ten? Slight cool. cool or pain? Both. Okay, how much? And it's at three. Okay, is it as far as three four? Okay. Here I don't feel it at all. So it's sign it's, it's, it's like kind right. of catching in here. Right. Right. Catching in here when you clear it. When I clear it, I'm good. You're good. Okay. So let's actually lie in your back. Head okay. Up. Okay. Okay. So it's right in here. Mm -hmm. Let me actually untie it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And relax. There you go. Okay. Make sure you breathe. Lift your head up. 
Okay, we'll get this on the side. I don't want to pull it. Okay. And relax, relax, relax. Okay. okay. Is that too much what I'm doing? No. Okay. Too much here. Mm -hmm. here. Okay. Relax. Let's see. Here. Let's pull up here. Relax, relax. Make sure you breathe, okay? Yeah. Are you breathing? Yes. Okay, we need that here. Okay. Tinder here? Yeah. And here, okay. Mm -hmm. Push my hand. Push, push, and relax, relax, relax. Push, 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 and relax, 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 okay. Okay, I want you to push my hands here. Push, push, push. push. Both yeah. up, up, forward, oh. shoulder, shoulder. You're breathing? Yes. Okay, I need to hear you breathe. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. As long as you're here, we want you to breathe. I'm breathing. Okay, I'm breathing. if you don't want to breathe outside, go ahead. But here, make sure I'm you breathing. breathe, okay? All right. Is that too much? No. Okay. It's just sore. Okay. It's the whole thing. You have inflammation there. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to work on, try to release the scar tissue, that, like uh, the fascia restriction, the trigger point of muscle okay. spasm that related to the proliferation stage. So if we get you full range of motion without pain, that's mean uh, you don't have uh, a lot of inflammation, okay? Mm -hmm. So it depends on your response today. We know if you're purely stuck in inflammation stage or okay. going back and forth between inflammation and proliferation. Okay. And for, the, uh, for, for who watching the video, to learn more about the stage of healing, you can check uh, what is Aster video, the link going to be on the bottom of this uh, video, to learn uh, the normal healing cycle, which is uh, three stages, inflammation, proliferation, and maturation. Um, so, uh, we have another video on that. Is that too much? No, it's not too much. Okay. So, push my hand down. Push, 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 and relax, relax, okay. Tinder here. Man, you're really tight here. Mm -hmm. Okay, tuck, tuck, tuck your chin. Tuck your chin. Okay, and relax, relax. Let's tuck it again. Get a scar tissue right here. There. And right. relax. Yeah, right here, mm -hmm. this knot. Right. You have issue here, yeah. You but sure? I feel that I, I'm always trying to compensate for this side of my yeah. body. Do you, yeah, like so. you, you tilt your head. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel those knots? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. Man. You sure you don't have neck issue? No. Okay. Uh -huh. Because you have a lot of scar tissue. You probably, because you feel a lot of pain here, mm -hmm. you're naturalizing the, the tightness in the Right. Right now. Your brain just going to focus or... On my shoulder. Yeah, preoccupied mm -hmm. with the strongest uh, painful signal. You know if it's too much, okay? Okay, let's sit up for me and tell me how that feel. Let's move your shoulder. You can actually um, have a seat. Okay. And let's move your arm. How's that? Right here, we're stuck. But the pain that the was pain 90 degrees... It's not, it's, when I'm here, I'm between right here. You stuck, you stuck in, right in right here. here. Where yeah. do you feel it's stucking? The back of my shoulder. The back, back end of your shoulder. The, so the you're tendon. going, you went like, that's a very good extra. Right, this is where I am. Here I'm clear. Okay, so you're really stuck here instead of stuck in, in the 90 yeah. degrees. Yeah. So you gain like at least like a 30, 40 degrees mm -hmm. and you feel it and... The, the tendon. Okay, so I will have you lie on your back, head on the other side. Okay. Yeah, head there. Like, you know, it feels almost uh -huh. sometimes like you sort of pop. But it's not going to. <laughs> you want to pop your shoulder. Yeah, but it, yeah. Do, it doesn't. It it's, doesn't do it, it feel like it's stuck in there. Right. So that's what I. Uh, where do you feel it's stuck in the joint itself or outside? Um, a little outside. Outside. Yeah. Okay. 
This is what I want more. Come on, relax, relax. Are you comfortable like this? Yes. Let's pull this down. Okay. Okay, did anyone work in this area? No. It's another prohibited area, yes. okay? Yes, so. You cannot work <laughs> that in PT. It's not. Okay, you feel the scar tissue here? Yes. That's a big knot here. That's a very thick Ooh, knot. They, they don't yeah. touch me. Today. Yes. They only touch the external shoulder. Okay. Stuff. Are you comfortable in that position? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Is that painful? Is Ooh, okay? it's really painful. Oh, you don't want this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about now? I'm good. Okay. okay. Think about something you like. What do you like? Food? <laughs> what kind of food, okay? If it's good food, you can say it here. If bad food, don't say it. <laughs> you can say it, doesn't matter. Yeah. You like Mediterranean oh, food. I like that too. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Is that what you cook? Sometimes, not all the yeah, time. Just yeah. There's a lot of recipe that's healthy, actually. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, I don't know with all the oil, but... Olive oil, oil is good for you. Right. If it's an extra virgin organic yeah. oil, right. uh, uh, that's good we, for you. You don't want to heat yeah. the olive oil. Yeah. But my husband tries to cook with it. Oh, okay. Cook with it? With it, yes. Yeah. It has a smoke point, I think, right. it's 850. It has a, yeah. So if you start to see a smoke, that's actually turned to toxic. So make right. sure you... Exactly. You can heat avocado oil, but olive oil, I he I will not. be very conservative exactly. with heating. I try to tell him. I yeah. tell him that. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, I, I, I like olive oil. Yeah. Although okay. I do, like recently, I haven't... Uh -huh. In my salads, I just use um, lemon and salt. In your salad, mm -hmm. lemon salad. and salt. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. You can use um, vinegar, Himalayan salt. Yeah. That's good for you. Yeah. Is that too much? No. You feel the thickness of this scar tissue? Yes. Okay. Is that too much? Make sure you tell me. Okay. That is. Yes, I feel that there. Okay. So, what else do you like? Um, you see, we don't talk about ice cream or chocolate <laughs> or anything. Right. <laughs> that was great. No, uh, chocolate really is, uh, mm, if it's dark chocolate, is okay. I no, guess there's no, no other chocolate. Oh, milk. <laughs> uh, milk chocolate. <laughs> milk chocolate? Yeah, if it's raw or organic, okay. that's okay. Yeah. Um, I had a really good ribeye steak this week. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, you make me hungry. I'm here. sorry. Okay. That's okay. We can talk about it. It's fine. You know, I will have a meal after this. Yeah. Yeah. Although my students think I have a shopping issue. Why? You shop a lot? Yeah, I've had a lot of shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. But you feel that bomb here? Yeah. That's a thick scar tissue. Yeah. yeah. That's... Um, it was really so. You have a lot of I shoes. Have a lot of shoes, and they noticed yeah. under my desk. I have like six pairs of shoes. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Do you wear six like in the same day? No. Well, see, I'm you change it based on I the weather. Change <laughs> based on how I feel. If I don't want to wear heels and I have flats, or oh okay, I'm I don't recommend heels, but it look nice. Okay, okay. right. And if yeah. I'm walking a lot, I want yeah. a different flat than yeah. So wow. or I'll come to school wearing sandals, and we're not allowed yeah. to wear sandals, so mm -hmm. I switch. Oh, wow. So, yeah. they, they notice. You they like use, shoes. You never wear the same pair of tennis shoes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah, I have a shoe problem. Whatever. Well, that's that, why I have a job. That's your hobby, you know? So, I have a job. <laughs> yeah, let me know if it's too much here. Like, the scar tissue is so thick that you visually can see, see it. it. Look down. Look how oh, it's well, sticking yeah. out. You can actually visually see it, see it stuck out. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it actually twinned down. You feel how softer now? Yeah. It was uh, really it, like it, a, a right. feel like a rug. Right. So I shaved a little bit. And, uh, that's going to take a few treatment to really get, get rid down. of that. Mm -hmm. So that's going to pull your shoulder down and it's going to restrict your range of motion. Yeah, I feel this here. Let me know if that's too much, too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's too much. Yeah. Everybody knows that's too much. <laughs> Is that too much? It's not too much. It just... Yeah. yeah. Sit up for me. Okay. We'll get you some more water, actually. And we'll have you... 
uh, lift your arm up and let's try it again that again is catching uh, where it's catching let, let me see it how far pain or just catching just catching not as I mean just a little slight bit okay. of pain where yeah. do you feel it's catch in my shoulder we're in my shoulder yeah where is it in shoulder? along this muscle so if I if I draw a line it just goes down that's the muscle yeah that's the muscle okay so let me work on that so how much pain when you did this um not very much mm -hmm. no. relax okay let me get you a pillow here this is not i actually let's have you sit in here let me sit yeah so i can um this is this okay relax mm -hmm. It's right, right there. Where your thumb is. Okay. Yes. Is it painful? Okay. Not relax, a little. Relax. It's just a little, relax, relax, a little sore. Relax, relax. Mm. Good. It's still sore? It's a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Relax. Okay. Um, too much? Not too or much. Right? Okay. So it's catching now. Yeah. So the catching was 90 degrees. Now the catching is up. Yeah. So you have a scar tissue mm -hmm. that when you get in that range does not really right. let it go and it clear up. That's typical. The impingement syndrome is usually this mm -hmm. range. So that scar tissue causes impingement in there and decreases range of motion. And when it's cleared, everything uh, you can go farther. Right. Okay, is that too much what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. This wheel. Yeah, sorry. This is not massage, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's pressure. Okay. Those like astern maneuvers I'm doing. Um, release on this area. Is it too much? Mm -hmm. Because you're not tolerating the tools with certain spot. Okay. How does wheel? Okay. You feel this one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have plenty to work on. You're gonna keep me busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Too much or it's okay? It's okay. okay. And here. Alright, so what I want you to do is just to sit here okay. in the middle and try the change of motion again. Up. Wow, that's a full range of motion. Yeah. Is it catch or it's... Not really, no. Okay, let's do five. Don't you you kind of that. guarded, yeah? I'm scared. Are you trying to like I'm figure scared. out, is like, this real sure or... Real. Yeah, we're good. Oh my gosh, look at this. You try to show off now? <laughs> no. Okay, so we try... So the abduction was 90 degrees, now you're actually going further. We're gonna try the two pounds now and I a half. Hmm? I put my thumb. No, I don't even feel sure the grinding. Thumb, make sure your yeah. thumb up when you do that. Okay. Let's try this and go up. If you feel weaknesses, that's okay. You're I gonna feel, feel weak. Weak. Weakness, that's normal because I don't know how long you've been not, not doing this. But my concern is the pain. Right. What do you feel? Pain, right. Okay, stop. Okay. Sorry. Where did you feel the pain? Um, around that same area. Where? Back side of the muscle. Okay. Sit up nice and tall. I want you to try it again. You're probably not ready for weight. No, we're not ready for weight. Even no, holding no. it? Just Without even weight. Holding it. I don't want you to do okay. weight now. You're not ready for weight. We're right. going to do it later. But I just... Uh, today, I care about the range, range of motion. motion yeah. We're going to do more stuff for the weight. You're not ready for the weight. I'm good. How is the range of motion now? Great. Okay. So, what do you think about... We're going to work on, on the weight next time. Okay. Um, what do you think about the treatment? Just move your arm around and I tell me... Great. You had physical therapy for four months. For four so, months. can you tell the difference between Aster and oh, traditional yeah. physical therapy? Yeah. 
So what the difference? I didn't feel like physical therapy was even mm-hmm. helping me. All it was was just uh-huh. sometimes just a bunch of stretches. Okay. Some days it's not gonna break the scar tissue. The no. stretches and exercises. And yeah, that's walking up yeah. the ladder and that that yeah. was it. It wasn't yeah. or pulling on a band. Mm-hmm. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain. And if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be ASTER certified, uh, you can follow the link below. Uh, You will get information on how to register for ASTER online class. Uh, There is over uh, 40 studies that support ASTER treatment model. And also there is uh, over uh, 400 studies that utilize by ASTER treatment. And feel free to check over more over 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos. Uh, we'll see you soon.